very active in the Ames arts community, and although I was not a dancer, uh, Betty was just so ubiquitous. You know, everybody <laughs> knew Betty. But I was on the Public Art Commission. Uh, the Ames has a very um, wonderful public art program. And I was on the commission, and we had some money, and we thought that we wanted to put a piece in Campus Town. And so we wanted it to be youthful and fun. And so um, we come, came up with this idea to embed cast bronze footsteps in the pattern of a dance into oh. a sidewalk. And so I'm pretty sure it's still there. It's on the um, corner of Welch and Chamberlain on the southeast corner. So you know where the clock tower is in the middle of the intersection. So it's uh, just off to the southeast there. And so we um, had this fun idea to create uh, these bronze dance steps, but we needed a dance. And so who else? But we enlisted Betty's help. And so Betty created the Cyclone Twister. And, so, uh, uh, and it's a very twirly dance. And so the, um, the footsteps are embedded into the sidewalks in the pattern of the cyclone twister. And on the day of the dedication, she came and brought some of her student dance uh, dancers to demonstrate the cyclone twister. And I remember it was a really chilly day, and these dancing kids were up really way too early on a weekend, and uh, it was kind of chilly. But they uh, whizzed through the cyclone twister. And it's a tricky dance, but by God, it's in the, yeah, that's your legacy. <laughs> Cast in bronze and set into the sidewalk in Campus Town. So if you're ever up there, you can give it a try. You're going to demonstrate it. I'm not going to demonstrate it. <laughs>